Hi guys, welcome back to part 2. Now this attack just landed, 82 losses. Forget about the gun tree, not really bothered about that. It's a good kingdom resources on the whole. Really enjoyed that. And another easy camp has spawned, so I'm glad about that. Level 84 though. Now, these I've just been attacking these big camps. And I've been getting so many losses and I really don't like it. These big camps are really hard. As you can see here, I've, I've been using these tools just because I have a load of them, and I've never, re I don't, I never really use them, so I'm just using them up now. And they're a lot faster than the mat, the wooden mantlets, and that's the reason I'm using them. Now I have been able to loot quite a lot of kingdom resources, and I've done another level on my horde. I wasn't really going to do a video on that, the quest for fifth wave. Uh, because it was it was pretty much I already had the resources and I just needed to level up and then that was pretty much it there wasn't really much looting to it but I am trying to save up my kingdom resources here I'm really low on charcoal for some reason like I've never really been low on charcoal you hardly loot any you loot more iron and glass but like that that's good because I was really low on glass but now I have twenty three thousand. And charcoal, you just make a lot of anyway. I mean, look at my ice castle. I mean, like, I don't really make that much per hour, but it just piles up. It's like, well, not at the moment, because I just shipped a load over for my upgrade. But what I'm going to do is fill up my stores in, um, fill up my storage in, let me just skip this, in green. And I'm going to skip it over here. And I'm going to upgrade, upgrade these charcoal burners because I need to get my production up. And I'm just going to attack this next camp thing, the espionage. Has already, I've already sent the espionage. And now this one, it's going to require more mantlets, which is annoying because I'm down to <laughs> already about 700, 600 after this attack. And they just you use quite a lot, and I don't really didn't really notice how much I used because with the auto tool, um, I always used to have mantlets coming in. Like I was making more mantlets than I was using now, but with this actually I'm not using the wrong troops. Okay, but with this, um, see, I look at that. I had like two thousand this morning, and now I'm down to six hundred. Like you just it just depletes with your troops. I'm just try I'm trying to keep up with like the troops of the auto recruiting in every castle and every kingdom. But it's just the losses they're just really hard. This event it's just a terrible event really. The only good thing is the rewards. And that's the only reason I'm doing it. And I I don't I wish I wish M Good Game Empire had never like introduced this event <laughs> really, because like the rewards are like the rewards are good, but like I'm already getting them because other players have them, and I won't be able to compete with other players unless I have them. With the top guys. Now I do have a couple books saved up, 300. Not going to cut into them though, and I'm just going to use rubies to speed it up. And it's I've just drained my rubies as well. I mean it's cost 13 per attack. I've hit like 20. That's 260 rubies already. Wait. Okay, and here it is, arriving now, 10 second theft, and this is my commander that I use for pretty much everything. The only thing that's annoying is that it's not 90 ranged, but I really can't bother to put like in a complete other commander together. And 40 losses, okay, that's good, that's not bad. It's nothing compared to like 180 losses, and 1k oil, so we're getting some oil now. No iron. It's quite strange what you loot from these camps. It's like, so I don't know, like, if there's any pattern, like, what this level gives iron, this level gives oil, or whatever it is. I wait for it to reset. It takes ten seconds if you didn't, if you guys didn't know that. And rewards. I think that's from the alliance. I wonder how we're doing as an alliance actually. Now, at the moment, I am. Um, I think I'm. Oh, I've almost completed the second page, as you can see here. 
I've got the three rewards left and then I get this armor which looks pretty good this piece of equipment I think it's an artifact now when you get two um, two pieces it increases the speed by 50 so that's pretty nice and if you mix that with um, the foreigner set you pretty much got 120 and you got 80 speed which is the max speed you can get and that's just with um, mixing the sets together it's not including like the stats on the pieces themselves so that's pretty good now as an alliance I think we are at we're fourth now 157 pretty much now we just won some reputation boosters as well and along with some feathers um, here and the best thing I like about the, these Alliance rewards are the tr this, these tools, of course, and these tickets. Now, I look, my friend here is at 1,850 and third. I'm at 1,413, but he's on this side. It's a lot easier on this side. Um, he is third here, and I am currently ranked 13 here I just overtook my alliance member there now this one's quite a lot harder as you see one of my um, alliance members second now all of these players they're pretty much re they're ruby players so there's no way I can get top 5 maybe top 20 if I'm lucky I'm gonna try I'm gonna try for the highest I can I, I I think I might be able to get up to page 6 in the rewards probably not all 8 even though this hero would be so very nice to get but it's mainly an NPC commander so I might not be using it that much it would be good for like nomads and events like that but without without the um, hero it's not really much of an NPC commander and as you can see there's actually two sets in the event there's a Castellan and the Castellan is actually really good I mean, this piece, I worked it out that this piece does 53 ranged by itself when maxed, along with 30 wall, I think. So that, that's a really good piece that I'm going to get next Paramount if I have the time to like hit it. It will depend when Paramount comes around. And I'm going to send a couple more attacks. Okay, guys, we're back, and I've skipped a few attacks that I've done. It's actually re a really big skip and you'll see why in a minute but I will send this attack now and I'm just gonna this kind of like a sloppy setup I'm just sending whatever wherever and then filling in the tools now the amount of tools that this is just going through is just crazy I mean look at look at my coins that's all from just buying tools and just buying troops as well recruiting troops wish I went like hard with nomads but you know it's, it's hard and I'm gonna send these lays just because they're faster now this feels like it's such a waste but I'm just gonna do it now and I don't I'll use 10 books just because I can 10% there's like an extra 5 reputation which is pretty rubbish and this tech lands in 3 minutes and we are back guys, attack is about to land couple seconds and where's my artifact boom there it is page 2 complete this looks like a really good piece melee ranged minus 4 everything you want in a good piece the only thing I'd say it's lacking is speed but as soon as you get 2 pieces it gives you 50 speed so that like makes up for it completely and this is just a really good piece I'm definitely going to be using that. I'm not going to upgrade it yet because I know I'm going to need to need my coins. Only 18 losses, so that's perfect. And that is page two completed. Felt like forever. Lacked quite a lot of time to complete that. And now we look at our progress at where we are. We are now on this page. I'm at 1775 so that means two more attacks and I'll get this and then I'll be one attack and then looks like um, so two attacks again maybe three 
I don't know, it's, it's weird the numbers, like if it went up in 50s it'd be a lot easier. And then I think it's another two, three attacks and then it's going to be like keep going three attacks and it's just going to get harder. But no, we don't get any equipment on this page, but we do get equipment on this page, the Castellan equipment, which looks pretty good, like increases melee strength. I don't know why this is like reduce resources lost due to looting. It should be like increased wall or moat, but I'm not complaining because this is actually a really good piece. And if you have two pieces, it will increase your wall by 25%. So that kind of makes up for it. So I'm, re I'm really looking forward to getting this piece as well. And then, I see, then I, as you see here, it's like a page without um, equipment, and then equipment, page without equipment, equipment, but then you get equipment on this page, and but this page and and this page. But then the annoying thing is, to get the hero, you have to go through two entire pages just for this piece. I mean, I don't want any of these rewards. I just want this hero. So like, am I really going to go through all of this just to get that hero? It doesn't really seem worth it. So I think I might stop here, depending on the progress we make. Because this Castellan piece looks nice as well. And I definitely want to get some more pieces. So that's page 2 complete, and I'll be making a video on page 3, 4, 5 till I give up on this event. Currently rank 8, I'm getting up there, climbing the leaderboard. Might be able to get top 5, but I definitely won't be able to hold it, we'll have to see. But these level 11 gems, this courtyard gem looks so good, but it's just, I'm not going to get that. So I'm not, the, I'm not one of the top 5 players on the server at this event, and you, well, top 10. Because you can win five here, and if you look here, it's so much easier to get on, on here. I mean, I don't know how this guy's second. Like my lights went, but I've got more points than him. He's second, I'm eighth. It's like so annoying. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll be able to get some more pieces soon.